Taurus, welcome in. If at any time you want to skip past any parts, if you're just not interested in a certain part of the reading, I do provide timestamps. They're available in the comment section. Angel number for Taurus, please. Angel number for Taurus. You have angel number 13. So this is all about you being confident, okay? It says you have an optimistic but practical outlook, and that's what's keeping you determined. And that's what's keeping you on track as you work steadily towards your goals. So keep this same energy of confidence that you're going to accomplish something. Hmm. There, you have something different that you bring to this table or that you bring to this environment, Taurus, is what it's telling me. What else? Okay. You have Coffin that wanted to come out. So there's some sort of ending that's happening in your life here, Taurus. This ending brings growth, change. Okay, it's actually, the ending's actually a good thing. It's liberating you from something that you were stuck in. Could have been, you know... For some of you guys, you may be taking a different direction in your life and you may be concerned with that, okay? Because maybe you had one set of ideas for yourself because maybe you were programmed to believe your life should go in a certain direction, but you decided to take it in a completely different direction. I do feel like you guys are embracing your own decisions, you know? You're breaking free from some sort of idea that someone else or other people had for your life. There's also an ending, that it's something that needs to end or an ending between you and another person that has kept you stuck. This was a very significant part of your growth, the connection. It has actually, whether you realize it or not, that connection actually brought out, I wanted to say your true identity, but it, it was definitely a, a connection that was very challenging and, and purposeful. What else? What else? Soulmates. Yeah, you had a soul contract with this person, believe it or not. Karmic relationship. So, the contract is over. It has served its purpose, right? The purpose of this connection, whether it be romantic or platonic, you know, you, you be the deciding factor on that. Your guides are wanting you to proceed with full confidence that this contract, this, this connection has served its purpose and it is time to move forward in the direction you want to take your life. I feel like, believe it or not, this, some of you guys, there were several karmic relationships happening at once, whether it be your parents, a romantic partner, a friendship, could be dynamics changing, uh, you know, in your life. Okay, but basically, it, ser it, you know, it served a very big purpose here. Let's see. What else? What else? And what I mean by karmic connection or soul contract is we're meant to meet people along the way that shape us for who we're supposed to be. The good, the bad, all right. What else for Taurus? Ten of Cups. Well, it looks like a new relationship coming in. Could be with a Pisces or a water sign. I have air. Yeah, the past can't let you go, though. So although you may have learned your lesson, the past has not. But we're not going to let that interfere with our growth, right? Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords, there is somebody new here looking at you or getting wanting to get to know you. Okay, Nine of Wands, the Magician. This person is very interested in manifesting something with you, but there's still a, an energy of, of uneasiness, especially if they know about this past person, Seven of Swords. I'm going to keep it 100 with you, Taurus. There are thoughts behind 
there's this person has thoughts that you may betray them or that you could have the potential to hurt them so they are not making themselves completely emotionally available the thing is with the ten of cups the magician they are still invested in some way they're still making it known that they want you they're still working toward the connection but they're doing it in a very guarded way okay why the hanged man Eight of Swords, the Hanged Man. I have to say this person has been hurt, okay? Haven't we all? But that's specifically coming out in your reading. This person has been hurt. It's telling me they're enlightened, okay? They know that they know human nature. They know what humans are capable of. And I feel like this person, although they don't want to, they are trying to keep themselves closed off, okay? I feel like this person is not wanting to wear rose-colored glasses when it comes to you. And I'm just going to keep it 100 with you because they do sense, they sense that you may, that you may have this, other person in your energy the seven of swords like they they sense that there may be something creeping its way in uh i feel this person is intuitive especially if they are a water sign okay they don't have to be they could also be a virgo aries i have aquarius here pisces um me as the reader the magician can be a gemini as well but i do feel like this person thinks they know something let's see Oh my goodness, Nikki Chambers, babe. Thank you so much for the super chat, Nikki. I appreciate that so much, babe. You are so generous. Today's readings are sponsored by Nikki. Babe, I appreciate you so much for that. Why the Seven of Swords? Let's see. This is somebody that claims you already. Who are you dealing with, Taurus? Nikki, thank you so much for that, babe. I really appreciate you. So, Taurus, the person already claims you, but they found a way to claim you by, and, and also emotionally detaching, not getting their hopes up, but at the same time claiming what's theirs. <laughs> okay. I don't know who you're dealing with, but they're very calculated, strategic. You're dealing with someone who's pretty smart, okay? They're pretty smart. Y'all, sorry, I don't know what's up with Luna. She's looking for Jasper, I think. Yeah, they think you still need to heal from something else. I don't know why they think this. We have the star in reverse, Aquarius. And then we have the uh, five of pentacles, the three of pentacles, the knight of swords. This new person thinks that the past still has the potential to sweep you off your feet. Luna. Oh, she sees birds outside. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So, okay. Libra is here, Aquarius is here, Virgo, Gemini, Pisces, Cancerian energy. Could be a water sign or another earth sign. Luna. Nikki, thank you so much for that. Okay, we're going to move on to singles. Taurus. Who's coming towards single Taurus? Only take what resonates, leave what does not. <sighs> okay, the Knight of Cups is coming toward you. Six of Swords. 
a more peaceful connection. Definitely more peaceful than what you have dealt with in the past. This is all about you making your way to calmer waters with somebody here. Okay, there's definitely a significant change or difference that you're going to see in this new person versus what the past showed you. This is somebody that shows up for you. This is somebody that I feel like they're very charismatic. I feel like they they will come across as a knight in shining armor. Okay, male or female. This is definitely someone who's going to be pursuing you. They're going to show that they're interested in you and they're not going to hold back. I'm getting somebody is going to be listening to how you feel with the Knight of Cups. Six of Swords. This is completely different than what you have ever known before. Now, the Six of Swords, I feel like you have been guided toward this situation or you're being your guides. You know, the Six of Swords is also your guides. It's the universe, God, whatever you believe in. It's definitely happening for a reason. Okay. You've made it through some sort of rite of passage. All right. Queen of Wands, they're going to be giving you a ton of attention. Because they don't want you to get away. This person sees you as very attractive and they know other people are probably just as attracted to you as they are to you. So they're going to be showing. Okay, they're going to be showing up for you. Whoa. Yeah. And then we have the Three of Cups in reverse. Three of Cups in reverse overall energy is threes a crowd. For some of you guys, there may be people, other people involved some way, somehow that are trying to drive a wedge between this connection energetically. The thing is, I don't think it's going to work because the King of Wands in reverse, this person is not interested in anyone else other than you. Oh my God. Malachi, what do you have? Y'all, hold on one second. Malachi, what do you have? What is that? So sorry, y'all. Melkai had a whole thing of bread. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I left. Okay. I'm just going to go back. Well, Melkai is like bad, y'all. He's bad. Anyway, Cash, that was Cash. He's like, I ain't do it. <laughs> okay. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> okay. Back to what I was saying. This person is not interested in any other options other than you. Okay. This person knows what it feels like, I think, to be cheated on or to be picked last. So I don't think they're going to do that to you. Definitely not. I will say this person likes for their significant other to have a certain level of independence. There's something in, there's something that you are, you're exuding some type of confidence or determination in a goal. And they really like that about you. Okay. I definitely see you and someone, a new connection developing here. Let's, let's, how do they see, how do they see you? Four of swords, six of pentacles, the world. Yeah, they think you're still trying to get over something else, guys. Okay. It's telling me their feelings are turning in a positive direction, but they do fear the unknown in this situation. They also fear maybe you're like their weakness. So this person is going to try to keep their guard up because they fear that you'll be their kryptonite or their weakness or, you know... There's definitely something here about them trying to hold back raw emotion, so to speak, okay? I feel like they do have their own personal goals that they would like to accomplish. And they really respect the fact, um, they really respect when people allow them space and time to accomplish their own personal goals is what it's telling me. We're going to move on to the new person. And then we'll do the past person. 
Let's see. New person for Taurus. New person for Taurus. Yeah, my cats have always been so chill. And then I got Malachite. And he's an Aries. He does what he wants. And he's a bad influence on my other cats. I'm just saying. He really is. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Okay, let's see. This new person. So this is if someone new has already entered your life. How does the new person see Taurus? That so you're going through some sort of change. The new person could be the same person in the singles reading, by the way, but they see you as the Six of Swords. That you're releasing baggage or moving on from something. Let's see. The Fool. You could be younger than this person. The Fool is, you know, innocence. They could see an energy of innocence with you. Uh, you know, you could come across as someone who is free-spirited. Childlike. But they know you're smart. They like that about you. They like that you have a good head on your shoulders. But you, you, you also know how to play. You also know how to have fun. But they see you as someone who has common sense. How do they feel? Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. They feel like you're a stable option. You come across as practical, independent... Or you, you, of course, could be someone who likes luxuries, okay, and they see that about you, but you're willing to work toward your own personal luxuries. The Knight of Wands being here, wow, they're very passionate about you. Ooh, Taurus. They're not going to be able to hold back much longer. Let's just say that. When it comes to bedroom activities, okay, they definitely want to see... They want to see what you got, all right? They want to see it, if they haven't already. Yeah, what did I just say? Page of Swords, y'all. This person is curious as to what you look like under the covers, okay? Trying to keep it PG, but very sexually attracted to you, and they cannot wait. It's telling me they cannot wait. What are their next actions toward Taurus? I feel like this is on their mind heavily, especially this week, leading into this weekend. <sighs> okay. Queen of Cups. But they also want to make sure there's an emo. Oh my God. So this person wants to come at you with all this passion, right? But they also want to make sure there's an emotional connection established first. They want you to know that they care. They care more about your body. They, they care more than just your body. They care for you on a deeper level. They cannot, y'all. Be ready. Have you decided what you want to do about this? Because... I feel like there's going to be uh, a spontaneous moment that it, I'm just getting like a sudden rush of like passion. I'm hearing the heat of the moment. Okay. I think it's going to be hard for this person to keep their hands off of you. They don't want to confuse you. It's, it's so important for them. They don't want to create chaos or drama or confusion. And I feel like they do want to make sure there's an emotional bond and a mental bond established before they rip your, your um, clothes off here. I'm trying to figure out how I can keep it PG. Um, but yeah, I see an opportunity coming in from out of the blue. I'm getting morning. I don't know why I'm getting the morning time. I'm getting early morning, early hours in the morning with that five of pentacles. Okay. Um, they don't want to make a mistake. It's telling me they don't want to make a mistake. They don't want to cause a conflict. But guys, 
The sexual tension has been building up between the two of you, and I think that could also be what they've been trying to do, is build up the sexual tension. Oh, my, my. Oh, my, my. Didn't you have a reading like this last week? Wasn't that you? Give me one more card. Oh, my, my. This person knows what they're doing. Okay, Taurus. They know exactly how to give you just enough space, just enough time. They know how to make you want it bad. That's what they're doing. But I will say they are the type of lover that likes an emotional, mental connection as well. I think it just is a lot more. They like that connection is what it's telling me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, then all right I also feel like some of you guys they want to make sure you're over something else they don't want to be a rebound uh, you know they, they don't want to be your re they want to be your for first choice this person knows what they're doing for sure okay we have Aries energy could be another earth sign we have Gemini here Aquarius Libra Sagittarius is here could be any sign though. This is just the energy of the, the reading. Look at that. They said, I have a vision for the both of us. They know exactly what they want to do. Okay. Alrighty. Moving on to the past person. So for those of you wondering, this is somebody that you have established a past with. This could be a current person, but there's definitely some history there. All right, what is the past person doing? 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 They're in their feelings about an ending or a potential ending. Y'all, they haven't let you go. As a matter of fact, they think there's still room to grow between the both of you with that world card. We have water and then we also have fixed. You could be dealing with another fixed sign, a Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. Yeah, they want a, they want a new beginning. They want to apologize. The moon, they're deceptive though. I feel like this person hid a lot from you. They created a lot of anxiety within you. They're deceptive. All right, Pisces energy. Queen of Swords, Three of Cups. You could have called them out about other people involved somehow. If you didn't call them out, the Queen of Swords, you just definitely recognize that there was either one, a third party, or that there were too many, too many people involved in y'all's relationship. Okay. Yeah, they feel like you have left them behind, Taurus. They, This person is very, um, with the Ace of Swords, this person is under the assumption that you can't forget them or that, you know. So let me get this straight. They they feel like you're leaving them behind, that you've left them out in the cold, but they think you. the reason why you're doing that is to teach them a lesson. They think that you're not taking action towards it to make a point. That's what they think. They think you're trying to make a point. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you ain't giving them no love. You know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing that, uh, I think it's Lil Wayne. No love. Baby, don't hurt me no more. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. There's a message in that song, or that's a song you've been listening to. But you're not showing this person any love. Let's see. Okay, Ten of Wands. This person burdened your life, though, guys. I'm just going to point that out. They, they created a lot of unnecessary stress. Could have been an Aquarius here or a Libra. 
So here's the problem with this person that I'm seeing. This is somebody that has feelings for you. Okay. They, they, they do have feelings for you and they saw a future with you with the world. But the thing is, it's like once they have you, they it's not that they lose interest in you. This is the kind of person that once they get what they want, once they get the prize, they have a tendency to always think the grass is greener on, on the other side. So instead of like doing what it takes to keep your relationship fun and interesting and, you know, giving it the space it needs and then nurturing it instead of doing the things that it takes to actually have a healthy relationship. This is the kind of person that I feel like is always on to the next thing. So it's like no matter where they end up or who they end up with, they're always going to create these unnecessary challenges, obstacles. Love for this person is always going to be an uphill battle because they're, they're not right within themselves. They don't know how to nurture uh, a connection or a bond. And until they figure that out, they're always going to be this way. I mean, that's just the facts. And it has nothing to do with you or anyone else they end up with. It's just they're definitely a, the type of person that wants the prize. And then once they get the prize, they, they want another prize and so on and so forth. They do want to talk to you, though, but again... <laughs> It's coming, the desire is coming from a place of not having you. The desire is coming from a place of wanting to control you. They're very, believe it or not, this person's actually possessive over you. Like there's still this energy of them thinking you are theirs. Or that you belong to them. Page of Swords, Ace of Cups. Uh, oh. They're definitely watching you any way they can. King of Wands, Six of Cups. So again, this is just classic case of I want what I cannot have. I can't have Taurus right now, so I want Taurus really bad. Is there emotion there? Yeah, but the emotion is more so whether they acknowledge this or not, the emotion they feel is more so anxiety, confusion, um, rejection. Okay. With the five of pentacles, you have really left this person behind or you really left them out in the cold and it's just made them want you 20 times more. But the problem with this is once they have you, you know what I'm saying? What is their hidden truth toward Taurus right now? What is their hidden truth toward Taurus? I don't know what you want. That is a cop out. Okay. I don't know what you want. They know exactly what you want, Taurus. You want someone to be committed. You want someone to be genuine. You want someone to be supportive. You want someone to appreciate you and you want someone to not deal with others. Let's start there. Let's start there. Okay, maybe make you a priority, especially in the beginning. This feels like this person may have made you a priority in the early stages of the connection, but then you quickly did not, you quickly were not this person's priority. Other people were this person's priority or their extracurricular activities here with the King of Wands. And so what they do is, I don't know what you want from me. That's a cop out. That's this person does tell them themselves that though. They're like, I don't know what Taurus wants from me, but they, they actually do. They actually do know what you want. It says, I want to start over. So they do wish they could go back in time and do things differently. Somebody could be, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Um, I feel like somebody could be sexually confused, whether you realize this or not with the moon, this, this uh, King of Wands. Um, and that could be why they're constantly um, chasing their identity here or chasing, feels to me like they're chasing people who they want an identity, they want their identity to be surrounded by people. I don't know how, what that's trying to say. And then it says, it speaks, you speak to me through music. Do they still have a chance, Taurus? Do they still have a chance? Why do I 
feel like this person is playing hard to get, but like they may be trying to play hard to get with you, but they think that that's going to make you miss them or they think that's going to make you chase them. But the four of pentacles, you're not doing it. You're not doing it. Okay. You could be dealing with a fire sign. I have Leo. You could be dealing with another Taurus, an Aquarius, a Scorpio. It could be another earth sign for some of you Pisces is here. Nikki Chambers, again, babe, thank you so much for that super chat. I really appreciate you so much. We're going to do all signs, their sign. This is if you're dealing with this sign. Pisces. Let me take a sip of tea real quick. <clears throat> yeah, you've definitely made my week. <laughs> I really appreciate that so much. Okay, if you are dealing with an Aries, the Aries is holding back five to create more conflict. Okay, the Aries thinks that if they hold back, it'll piss, it'll it'll upset you. I'm trying to keep it clean. Um, if you're dealing with a Taurus, they want a new start. If you're dealing with another Taurus, if you're dealing with a Gemini, they they watch you. They keep tabs on you. Uh, oh gosh. <laughs> if you're dealing with a Cancer, obsessed, completely obsessed. If you're dealing with a Leo, they want to talk. I see communication coming in from a Leo. If you're dealing with a Virgo, oh my God, they're in love with you. King of Cups. Taurus, what are you doing to people? Taurus, you are a magnet. You're a babe magnet. If you're dealing with a Libra, communication coming in from a Libra. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, ooh, Justice. Why the Justice card? Seven of Wands. This Scorpio is protective over you. I feel like they want to do right by you. They want the situation to be balanced, equal, give and take. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, uh, be careful with any Sagittarians. All right, Knight of Wands, Five of Pentacles. This is the kind of person that might come rushing in very passionately and then ghost you or emotionally withdraw. I feel like the Sagittarius has a tendency to show a ton of interest and then withdraw. And they do this over and over again. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're coming toward you. Yeah, I see communication from a Capricorn. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, uh, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Be careful dealing with this Aquarius. I think they're going to affect your money somehow. They're going to affect your growth, okay? I think the Aquarius could be younger than you or someone could be younger in the situation, but the Aquarius plays too much. If you're dealing with a Pisces, the moon, ten of pentacles. The Pisces is hiding a whole arse family, guys. The Pisces is in another commitment, another connection. Be very cautious of any Pisces entering your life. The moon is here. They create illusions. They're wearing a mask. Okay. They're hiding uh, another commitment or they're hiding. Uh, I'm getting a whole family. <laughs> okay. I'm getting a whole family y'all. <laughs> All right. Okay. Taurus, those were your messages. If it did not resonate with you, I will be doing more readings in the future. Um, but if it did resonate with you, I thank you so much for liking the video. Nikki, again, a thousand times. Thank you, babe. I appreciate you so much for that. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.